Hello viewers, welcome to my channel IIT JE Olympiad and AP Physics with Ambarish. And in today's video, I have brought another exciting challenge for all of you and the title of the challenge is A Beautiful Origami of Electrostatics. So what's the challenge? A uniformly charged very thin sheet of width 2A and height root 2A is slowly folded about a vertical symmetry axis as shown. The work required in the process is W. How much work is required to fold it further about the horizontal axis? So you can see this is a sheet of the dimensions root 2a by 2a and we fold it about the vertical axis and we get this geometry and we did w work in this and then we are folding it about the horizontal axis, doubling it up and we want to find the work done in the further process. So if you like, you, you might like to pause the video and uh, try the challenge for yourself for 5 to 10 minutes and then we will get into the solution right after this. All right, so what's the key idea here? You can see that for any geometry, the self energy is directly proportional to the square of charge and inversely proportional to the linear dimension. For instance, this for a spherical shell, the self energy you know that is given by kq square by 2r and if you put k as 1 by 4 by epsilon, this is what you get for self energy of a spherical shell. So you can see it is proportional to the square of the charge of the shell and inversely proportional to the linear dimension of the shell that is 1 by r. Okay. Similarly, if you want, you can see for the solid sphere also, it is 3 by 5 kq square by r and again proportional to the square of charge and inversely proportional to the linear dimension of the geometry. All right. Now, in this, you can observe with the given parameters in each of the given geometries, the ratio of larger to smaller side is root 2 is to 1 and thus all of them are similar geometries and we can apply the same self energy formula to all of them. So here you can see this side is 2a and this side is root 2a. So ratio is root 2 is to 1. Similarly, when you fold it like this, this is root 2a still and this becomes a. So larger to smaller side, again you can see the ratio is root 2 is to 1. And when you fold it again like this, then this becomes a by root 2, that is root 2a divided by 2. And this is a. Again you can see larger to smaller side ratio is still root 2 is to 1. So all of them are similar geometries and therefore a similar self energy formula will be applicable to all the three of them. All right. Now using these facts what I can do. So what's the self energy of the first sheet? Let's say I assume characteristic dimension as this 2a the larger side of the rectangle. So I can say that u1 is kq square by 2a, this k is different from 1 by 4 perhaps not, but it will be some constant which I'm, I do not know what that constant is, but still I can say that potential energy will be of this form, u1 will be kq square by 2a, alright. Similarly, for this, the larger side is now root 2a, so kq square divided by larger side. So this is the potential energy in the, uh, self potential energy in the second case. And then similarly for the third case, you know that larger side now becomes a. So u3 is kq square by a, okay. Now what will be the work done? In going from here to here, you know that whatever is the change in self energy, that will be the work done in going from first case to the second case, okay. So that is u2 minus u1. Similarly, from going from the second configuration to the third configuration, the work done will be u3 minus u2. That is the change in self energy because we have said that the paper is being folded uh, slowly. So there's no kinetic energy issues coming here change in kinetic energy is zero all right now we can simply write what we said just now w dash is u3 minus u2 and w is u2 minus u1 and we take the ratio of these so kq square by a is common thing everywhere we can just take the ratio of the numbers so we can see that this is uh, uh, 1 by a minus 1 by root 2a divided by 1 by root 2a minus 1 by 2a so just the in terms of the characteristic dimension all right and this if you solve this comes to root 2 and that straight away gives you the total work done in going from second configuration to third configuration w dash is w root 2 so that's our final answer and i hope that all of you like this video and if you did like this video please remember to subscribe to my channel and share this video as much as possible with your uh, uh, if you are a teacher, you can share it with your students and if you are a student, you can share it with your fellow students and please do give it a thumbs up. That's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Alright.